Sitting on the 2,000 meter high peak of Mount Nemrut, these statue heads are over two millennia old. Built as part of a temple tomb in the year 49 BC, these ancient Greek and Persian gods stood 30 meters tall, true giants. Over time, the statues tumbled to the ground, but their heads and feet are intact and lie close together. It's still a mystery how they were created without the help of modern technology. One of the few places in the world that remains mysterious is Mount Nemrut in Adıyaman. Exactly what is inside is still unknown. And we watch meteor showers here because the kingdom of Komagene is where one of the first star maps in history was drawn. King Antiochus I was very interested in astronomy and the Komagene kingdom attached great importance to science. They would observe the sky and map it. And now we are observing the sky here as well. Every year in early August, as the Earth returns to this spot in its orbit, a meteor shower called the Perseids can be seen from the northern hemisphere. I brought my own telescope here. As a scientist and academic, my biggest goal is to convey to people the accurate information about the sky. Through the telescope, participants here are also able to view Mars, Jupiter, Saturn and the Moon, in addition to Perseids. I also have a presentation soon. The event is going quite well. Meteors are actually bits of leftover comet, ice and rocks, that collide with the Earth's atmosphere at speeds of over 200,000 kilometers per hour. Most of the Perseid meteors are the size of a grain of sand, but they burn up in a sparkling burst of light as they enter the atmosphere. And the best time to watch a meteor shower is in the hours just before dawn. Now, meteor showers are best viewed in near absolute darkness. So after we finish filming, I'll take some time for my eyes to adjust to the low light conditions. Then I'll be ready to view the Perseids in their full splendor, just like the 2000 year old faces here have been doing for the past few centuries, year in, year out. Rumeysa Kalun Karabulut, TRT World. Adiyaman.